I want to do a little review about the uh, little sleep system that I used last night. Uh, it is the uh, the U.S. Army uh, poncho with the poncho liner or wooby as it's often referred to inside of that. Um, I have some thoughts about it. So here it is, just kind of laid out, um, and it's, it's pretty simple. What it is, is it's a kind of a U.S. military poncho, and I, I have to say that I have been on the lookout for one of these to get one. I haven't found one yet. Uh, so I, I went ahead and ordered one of these Miltech brand uh, reproduction ones, I think just uh, off of Amazon. Um, it, it seems like it, it's pretty decent quality. Um, I don't know if it's quite as good as the, uh, the real deal. Um, it pretty well fits the poncho liner, except kind of a, from the front to back dimensions. It's a little bit shorter, I think, than the, uh, than the genuine versions. So the poncho liner kind of has a little bit uh, of an area where it sticks out. But if anything, that kind of just kind of wraps around you and should give you a little bit more uh, little more warmth but anyway what you do is you just you tie the corners of the poncho liner to the grommets in your poncho then you snap it up down the side and it basically forms a little sleeping bag down at the bottom because it's just open-ended obviously you just fold this little part underneath like so it kind of forms a little little sleeping bag you know hood sticking up up there you can cinch that down or you know not like it probably makes much of a difference um, so anyway I decided to give this a shot I'm not exactly sure how cold it got last night the forecast said it was supposed to get down to about uh, 48 or 49 degrees or so, um, which might, yeah, might have been a little below the, t the comfort range for this. And that's why I brought one of these uh, wool blend uh, blankets with me just in case. I have some thoughts on that too, which I'm going to throw in here. But anyway, when I was snapping this together at home, uh, something I noticed which you know should be pretty obvious is that the poncho being pretty well waterproof uh, was gonna hold in moisture really well and when you sleep your body definitely gives off a good deal of moisture which you usually want that to escape so I was afraid that this might get kinda steamy in there uh, might have problems with condensation and I have to say that when I got in there initially, it was still a little bit warmer. It was cool, but it was pretty comfortable. Um, however, uh, not too far into the night, I woke up and I was getting cold. And I most certainly felt pretty clammy in there because it was definitely holding in a lot of moisture. Uh, I can only, I mean, clammy describes the way I felt to a T. Uh, I wasn't terribly warm in there. Uh, I felt damp. I looked this morning in here and there is most definitely uh, condensation in there. It's still, it's still damp in there. Actually like beaded up condensation inside there. So most certainly uh, yeah, and what this poncho liner is, it's just uh, like a ripstop nylon fabric with some probably polyester um, synthetic fill there. It's not very thick, but it you know it does provide some insulation. Um, yeah, I mean maybe this system works well in the jungle. I thought I read somewhere that this was kind of the system was sort of developed during uh, Vietnam. 
Um, but I would think in a steamy jungle, the last thing you would want to do is wrap yourself up in a poncho, at least if it wasn't raining, um, and just hold even more moisture in. Uh, this system definitely just has has some uh, some moisture problems with it. It didn't really work very well for me at all. Um, what I wound up doing is I, I first I put that wool blanket over me. That still didn't keep me terribly warm. So I wound up doubling up. It's a twin size blanket, so I doubled it up, put it over my torso. That kept my torso warmer, but still uh, didn't quite keep me warm enough so I finally got up put my down vest on and then underneath the doubled up blanket I finally fell asleep and slept comfortably um, my legs were down at the bottom that didn't have the extra coverage of the blanket on it but that wasn't as critical to keeping me warm and I, I slept pretty comfortable then but I was still you know pretty clammy in there these blankets this is a like a reproduction of I guess the Swiss military wool blankets. This is another thing I found on Amazon. Um, they run about 30 bucks or so. They are, it's like 70% wool and it just says like 30% other fibers, whatever that means. Um, they're halfway decent for a fairly cheap wool blanket. One problem with them though is that they don't the fabric doesn't really have a lot of loft to it. The wool fibers don't, uh, uh, the, way, the way they're woven, they don't really trap much air in there. And that's what insulation is. It's trapped airspace that uh, helps keep that heat in. So this is definitely not the most efficient blanket for keeping you warm. Back home, I have a Hudson's Bay Company point blanket on the bed and that is really nice soft luxurious quality wool that the way the weave is those fibers definitely trap um, a good deal of air it keeps you warm uh, this is like kind of the complete opposite of that it's not horrible shall we say it's pretty good blanket to uh, like toss in the back of your car your truck or whatever in case of an emergency um, I would say they definitely work better doubled up, so if anything, maybe uh, keep two of them around. But anyway, that's my thoughts on that blanket and the uh, that kind of poncho, poncho liner, be sleep system. Yeah, would I recommend this to a friend? Probably not. Uh, I guess it might just really depend on the, the conditions. I understand that I was probably using this in conditions uh, where the temperature was a little bit too low. I understand that. Um, if I'm missing something, if I'm doing something horribly wrong that would help this, this sleep system work a lot better, please, please let me know in the comments. Fill me in on, on what I'm doing wrong. Um, but anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I know that, as far as I can tell, it sounds like a lot of people really love at least the Wubby itself if not this whole kind of general lightweight sleeping system so you know maybe i'm just doing something wrong